where else? We will want, uh, yeah, either sorters or maybe storage. Um, let's get some. Uh, also, we might want a what is it? A shopping mall, right? Uh, some something where we bring all of the basic resources in the same place. Maybe we'll do it here. It's not a bad, uh, like by the beach. <laughs> The mall by the beach, uh, maybe we screwing up a bit the the view, but uh, no, you know what? We uh, it can be like a dock, and then we can uh, make a paradise, uh, uh, an, an island, a uh, paradise island over there. Although I think we might be restricted with how uh, <laughs> we can make uh, like this whole robotic industrial things into um, into a paradise, well, it's a robot paradise. Okay. Um, so this would go in the mall, to be honest. Um, but also we're thinking, we, we right now we are like, uh, you know, uh, we are uh, c like barely continent scale, right? We're, we're country scale and uh, we're not even starting continent scale. In fact, we've installed ourselves in kind of an island position and I've seen other streamers being uh, a bit smarter with that and going to uh, Gondwana like some place where there's lots of uh, of land to expand so we haven't done that but that's not necessarily a huge problem I mean it's not like tiny and there's this place to expand over there and that's somewhere we simply haven't gone yet and there's crude oil right here so that's what we could do we could start on oil and that i think is a very good idea so let's just get uh can't we can't i tell my mecha to come there oh because i'm in planet view okay let's find your way there and uh yes let's look at our extraction now we can now build an oil extractor right we don't have one yet and we are missing steel so but we are producing steel so we should be fine um don't remember where though oh, over there oh, only 47 there must be something wrong I suppose this setup doesn't uh, evenly spread unless it's just lack of material and here we not, just have nothing in the storage um, so I suppose we could try and get a fast sorter here um, but uh, this is immediately going there or we could not have um, or may maybe it's just the wrong approach altogether and um, Meaning we should maybe use instead of a um, of a storage, we should uh, dismantle the storage and we should use belts and uh, sorters instead. Absolutely. Okay, let's take our steel and then let's build our oil extractor. Oh, and that's going to take all of our plasma exciters. Um, in fact, it's going to... Yeah, uh, the ones that we get uh, for free. So we need to um, look into this, build some plasma exciters. We're probably going to need this for all of this oil uh, production chain. 
so uh where how do we build this components so it's uh magnetic coils which we have there but maybe we'll need to build more and then a prism which use glass okay and the glass we started uh we started thinking about it but we haven't completed the the chain so that's good we can uh, we can do that okay so let's uh expand over here let's um I think we need a smelter for the glass, so we do a smelter here. And select glass. And we'll need expanding the power, and the Tesla tower for now. To be honest, we could also, um, instead of reusing this, we could use another miner here. Uh, yeah that's definitely the case at least for um, I mean right now this is not too bad uh, we we're not making heavy use of stone uh, nor glass but uh, we want to make sure that we do a production facility that's um, compatible with uh, belting for the miner here Right, great, and uh, I suppose if we're going to do um, these triangles, uh, then we could do another uh, another glass, uh, and we're going to need this energetic graphic, but that's with the coal. Okay, so let's just do a couple more smelters, and uh, use the one we have here. And maybe um, maybe connect it directly. We don't need the, the row one here. We'll say this one is dedicated to glass, like so. And then we'll put in the glass as the recipe, as the recipe. And then uh, yeah, let's look at how we build the prism uh, in the assembler. Okay. So let's make an assembler. And in fact, shall we just source directly from those two like this and maybe uh, dismantle this and um, use the sorters to connect this to this and this to this. And then say you need to make some triangles. And how are they called, by the way? Prisms. For optics and stuff, right? Uh, okay, and then we can just store them, right? Great. And then I think, uh, we, yeah, we're not researching anything anymore. That's not good. Um, we we need to automate the the motors as well to do the the fast orders but uh what's next on our on our research here uh, this requires red research ah we can do this it requires red research this doesn't this does this doesn't semiconductor manufacturing processors chemical engineering to make the, uh, some of the refined or uh, sulfur sulfur acid and plastic and there we go the red energy matrixes and magnetic levitation oh we can't do that yet and then let's check our upgrades uh, yeah there's tons of stuff that we can do here with the blue research that we haven't been doing um let's not enqueue this yet let's do um, blue research related things communication that increases the number of drones i think we can have and that increases the um, speed of the drone and so let's say all of this is beyond our capacity 
that's all for the Dyson Sphere project. I think those are all components of uh, Dyson Sphere project. Actually, that's not. Oh well, it's kind of true. This is beyond what we can do, but it's uh, not the Dyson Sphere. It's just more advanced uh, upgrades. And then I suppose we can put. Um, oh well, Q is four, so so we can't. Uh, at least not yet. Okay, excellent. So, and I think we, thanks to this, we can create now uh, these guys. Yeah, that's right. The plasma exciters, um, which we need in various things, and that's why I wanted to um, be uh, prepared for that. Um, let's see. I said we wanted to have motors now produced, so let's check on how we do that. Electric motors. Um, right. Coarse gears and uh, so, so uh, yeah, no, that is going to be probably a good thing to do in this area, don't you think? Um, So the gears and the the iron ingots that we can make from this uh, this line of iron, and then we have uh, copper available right here to do a new uh, a new um, production area. So that sounds like exactly what we need to do. So let's start by doing. Um, do we need to do more plates? How are we doing with plates here? I think we can overflow the plates. Um, but we want to do more gears, and so that's where we're going to start. And the gears are made with the assembler as well, and from just from plates, right? Yeah. So let's make some gears from um, from these plates. And we need to make some assemblers. assembler here and another here one for gears and then do we go directly are we going to need one for coils That's, uh, that requires magnet, not only... Um, right, right, so I actually want to uh, make another smelter for magnets. 